位听众好，欢迎大家到美语咖啡屋，我是杨晨。Hello and welcome to American Cafe. My name is Jody. Hey, Yang Chen, who's going to join us today at American Cafe? 嗯，林克胜先生，你知道吗？现在中国啊有学英语热，但是他们不知道，其实在美国呢也有很多人在学中文。所以我们今天请林克胜先生来跟我们谈谈他为什么要学中文，还有呢他在学中文的过程中遇到什么困难。我们今天还有一位神秘的嘉宾，你知道是谁吗 ？I have no idea. 就是你。Oh my gosh. 好，我们现在就请明克胜先生谈一谈，他为什么要学中文？他是怎么开始的 ？Well, I started a long time ago.、Uh, first, learned a little bit when I was in college, but probably I picked up most of it when I was overseas in Taiwan and also in mainland China for about three years total. Started learning when I started really learning when I was in Taiwan. 那么 Jody， 你呢？你是怎么开始学中文的呢 ？Actually, I started studying Chinese when I arrived in China. I didn't have any Chinese under my belt. Before that time, Yang Chen. So I arrived in Shanghai when I was 21 years old, not speaking any Chinese, and I arrived at the train station at three o'clock in the morning, surrounded by people who did not speak my language, and I can tell you, it was a little frightening. <laughs> so I did the only thing I knew、Dude. what to do. I, I sang a song. Raindrops keep falling on my head, and everyone started laughing, and <laughs> it was it made the situation better. Actually, Carl said that he began studying in college while he was in the United States. I did not do that. I got a scholarship to leave the country and go to China to study, and I took advantage of it.、Um, I really wanted to go abroad to study, and China seemed like、uh, the most foreign place on the planet. 我们可以想象啊，美国人学中文一定是有很多困难，因为这两个语言实在是相差的太远了。那么下面呢，我想请你们两位谈一谈，你们在学习中都遇到过什么困难？啊，首先我们让林克胜先生来谈一谈。Two of the most challenging things when you study、uh, Chinese in particular are the tones and the characters. I think that's just extremely, extremely difficult, and it was very frustrating to be uh, teaching uh, teaching kindergarten students and realize that sometimes their reading was much better than mine. <laughs> Jody, 你觉得林克胜谈的这些困难是不是每一个学中文的学生都遇到的困难呢 ？Oh, most definitely, the tones and the characters. Oh, Yang Chen, they're so difficult. You, we're just not used to it. We're not used to the the strict tonal.、Mm-hmm. Um, Aspect of Chinese, ma 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 ma. 没错，我听到过很多这个外国人说中文的时候，因为四声没有掌握对，所以呢闹出很多笑话。比如把这个东西讲成另一个东西。<笑>我想学中文啊，也和学其他的语言一样，每个人都有一些小的诀窍。那么你们俩谈一谈，你们在学习的过程中有一些什么样的诀窍，或者是技巧啊，或者有什么好的经验介绍给大家 ？The best things to do when you're learning Chinese. Is to、uh, be around a lot of four-year-olds, and, and the reason I say that is because their level of Chinese and yours is at the very beginning quite similar. You can have these great conversations about, "I'm hungry," "I like blue," <laughs> "I want the ball,"、um, and so I thought this, it was great to be able to do that. Very simple Chinese expressions with four and five. Year old. Yeah,、uh, I didn't really teach small children.、Um, I taught university students, and we mostly used English.、Um, but I did have the opportunity to make friends with students in the music department,、mm-hmm. and I learned several、um, Chinese pop songs. And I was able to perform with them and sing Chinese songs at concerts and. When you're a foreigner living in China, you get asked to do television commercials and acting, commer- <laughs> you know, <laughs> acting shows. So, this language environment is very important. You meet with different industries and learn a lot of things. Not only the language, but also the language, but most importantly, the culture and how people live their lives and, and make a living and have fun. Okay, our time is almost up. I want to ask you to tell a phrase in Chinese in Chinese, a phrase in Chinese. 呃，或者是俏皮话，讲什么都可以。天下无难事，只怕有心人。I like this idiom.、Um, it, I heard it and it stuck with me, and、uh, and here it is. 好马不吃回头草。哇，你们俩都说的非常好。好，我们今天的时间到了，谢谢大家收听，我们下次节目再见。See you later. 旺旺英语网站，欢迎您的光临。
请记住我们的网址是三 w 点 w w english 点 com。